All right, here's a quick um, video on Set Builder and Interval Notation. Um, set Builder in Trig, we, you'll see a lot. I don't know that I'll have you do it a lot, but you just write your, you know, like X such that X is greater than or equal to zero. So you have your, I guess, variable part and then the rule that goes with it or X such that um, X is an element of the real numbers. It's just a way of writing answers, I guess, um, that mathematicians like. <coughs> Interval notation we'll use a lot more often. Um, so, for example, say you have um, a parabola, which again in trig we'll be dealing with trig functions, but we'll say 3, 1, and you have your you know, parabola kind of coming out here. All right, and so we will talk a lot about domain and range. Um, domain deals with what x values are legal and range are what y values are legal. So domain, you're kind of saying, okay, what x values can I sub into my function? Range is what is my output of my function, where this is like, what can I input into my function? This is what's my output going to be from that function. All right. So domain, we typically use interval notation. So you have to ask yourself, okay, which of these values are legal or illegal? Well, you know, I could sub in a negative one and eventually it's going to run in, it's going to have an output. I could sub in a million and again, eventually, if I could graph this big enough, it would have an output. So my domain is negative infinity to infinity. Now, we use parentheses when it can't land on it. We use brackets when it can. Um, you can't land on infinity, so we use parentheses. Now, my range is my output. So if I look up and down, there's no values of y down here. My first value of y, my first output for y is 1. And I land on it, so it's a bracket, and it goes off to positive infinity. So I do that. Um, <coughs> I could have a function um, that say, let me see, what do I want to do? Um, oh, I don't know, we have the square root function. All right. The domain, um, I can't sub in any of these x values because they are not going to have an output. Those would give you imaginary numbers, all right, if your function is the square root function right there. So I can't sub in a negative 9 because that gives me imaginary numbers. And obviously, if you look at my graph, um, we have all these nice um, real numbers there. So my domain, my x values, the first x value I can sub in is 0, and it lands on it, so it's included. Now, my x values, I can sub in any of these all the way to infinity, and you can see that there's definitely an output. So, but again, you can't land on up, um, infinity, so we put a parentheses. My range, well, there's no y values down there. There's no output, so I kind of, you know, look up this way, and my first um, output is 0. And again, this is very slow, but this is going off to infinity on the y also. Um, you know, if I could look for from a million miles away, it's very slow, you know, but it's eventually getting higher and higher and higher and higher and higher, that function. So even though it's slow, it's going off on the, not on the x, we're not focusing on the x, we're focusing on the y. This is going to get higher and higher and higher, so that's also going to go off into infinity. Um, now, the only thing with trig with domain and range is typically um, we'll be dealing a lot with radians um, or the ratio side of things. So if we're dealing with radians, um, it could be like pi over 2 to negative, well, negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. We start small go high, small to high, small to high, small to high. Because um, again, we're kind of going left to right, left to right on the x axis. And then here we're going low to high on the y. So we start low and go high. Um, but again, in trig, those numbers tend to be, if you're dealing with ratios, you know, you have numeric values. But if you're dealing with angles, you could have negative 2 pi to positive 2 pi. You could have pi over 2 to you know, I don't know, 3 pi over 2, things like that. All right, if you need anything else on this, let me know and I can kind of expand a little bit more.